Now, from the nation's capital, here's the Pentagon Channel's ATS in brief. Military leaders figure more than 14,000 Americans have been evacuated from Lebanon. In the last few days, troops have also started distributing medical supplies and other humanitarian aid to the Lebanese people. Army Sergeant Lee McMahon is in Cyprus following the evacuation and humanitarian missions. I had a chance to speak today with Lieutenant Commander Will Williams, who works at coordinating air operations here in Cyprus. He talked me through a little bit about what goes into coordinating such missions. We have to respond really fast to the, to the crisis. So uh, initially, you have all different services coming in, and we have to figure out how to work together. We've got to figure out what's coming in, what's going out, and, and what to do with the assets that we have. Lieutenant Commander Williams also took part in another operation to assist American citizens during Hurricane Katrina. We also actually had the same ship, the Iwo Jima, down in New Orleans during the hurricane, and uh, of course pulled out all those people, and uh, it's, it's a similar feeling. Uh, in, in this case, people are, I think, probably in more danger from being under fire, whereas down there it was more of a humanitarian, you know, uh, issue, I think, uh, to this point here anyway. So uh, both places, yeah, j this just like uh, Katrina, uh, very, very satisfying, and I enjoy doing it. We'll continue bringing you updates on the U.S. military's role assisting Americans out of Lebanon. Army Sergeant Lee McMahon, Pentagon Channel News, Cyprus. The Coast Guard and Alaska National Guard saved 23 people Monday from a tilting cargo ship near Alaska's Aleutian Islands. In a day-long rescue effort, the crew of the Singapore flag Cougar Ace were hoisted into two National Guard Pavehawk helicopters and a Coast Guard chopper. They were flown 230 miles north to Attic Island, where they arrived cut and bruised from clinging to the ship. The Cougar Ace had been caught in rain squalls in near 10-foot seas when it began to list. The cargo ship was en route from Japan to Canada, carrying nearly 5,000 cars. Coalition leaders report there are no survivors from a chopper crash Wednesday in the rugged mountains of eastern Afghanistan. There were 16 people aboard the helicopter, including two American civilians. First of all, the aircraft was an MI-8, which is a Russian-built cargo aircraft. It can also transport people, obviously. There is a lot uh, that we are still looking into right now, but these are the basic facts. It crashed yesterday, late morning sometime. The site has been secured by Afghan security forces. Colonel Collins says Afghan and coalition troops have recovered 12 of the 16 bodies. There is no indication yet of what caused the crash, but officials say bad weather may have been a factor and they haven't ruled out hostile fire. The Army Corps of Engineers released new flood maps Wednesday to show New Orleans residents just how much flooding is possible if severe weather hits the city. Engineers say if a tropical storm delivers more than three inches of rain in six hours, roughly 8 percent of the city can expect anywhere from one to two feet of flooding. Anything that's uh, red or green uh, in, in this map is going to be a situation where you're getting structure flooding. The maps did not bring any comfort to area residents who said they wanted to see progress on the 17th on the floodgates where the 17th Street Canal meets Lake Pontchartrain. That water will rise and just come over into this this area which would flood us pretty bad. We are not protected at all. The engineers added pumping capacities will be at least doubled by the beginning of the 2007 hurricane season. President George Bush and Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki visited Fort Belvoir, Virginia Wednesday. Success in Iraq is necessary for the security of the United States and is necessary for the peace of the world. One of the things that, uh, one of the lessons we can learn from history is that freedom and liberty and democracies have got the capacity to convert enemies into allies and to lay the foundation for peace. The president says he believes it's in everyone's best interest that Iraq succeeds. That's one reason why, he, why the president felt it was important for the prime minister to be in the midst of those who are helping his country. TSP share prices for Thursday, July 27th opened at 1147 for the G Fund, 1070 for the F Fund, 1391 for the C Fund, 1661 for the S Fund, and 1913 for the I Fund. For the Pentagon Channel, I'm Marine Sergeant Raina Barnett. To find out how you can watch the Pentagon Channel where you live, log on to pentagonchannel.mil.